What's up, tubers? Stone Paxton University. I'm back at you with another review. But this time I wanted to do a review on this uh, mixer that I picked up that I use for my live recording at my shows and when I'm on the road and, and I'm touring. And even some of the live recordings that I'm doing in my studio uh, with my band or myself with my bass or my drums if I'm laying some live applications to be able to to run that into a mixer that can talk within my computer, that can collaborate with the computer in order for me to to um, to record something, you know, quick, fast, in a hurry, some cool plugins, compressors, and stuff like that. In my research for that kind of mixer that could do what I needed it to do, I found the Presonus 1602, which is a great console built like a tank and that's what I really really like about it also it has a lot of inputs and outputs and uh, and it just I love the whole analog feel you know I'm a big buff for the old school and analog um, in particular anything that's analog I love it but I do like the faders and how they feel how smooth the faders are don't be confused this is not an automated mixer like I said it has the analog inputs the program allows it to be automated via the universal uh, control program that comes with it. Now the only problem that I have with it that, that really disturbed me, and I'm not even going to say disturbed, but really kind of threw me off was when it came to the software, I could not sync the internal memory of this to my computer, which allows you to be able to route your outputs, your inputs and outputs in order for any of the programs that you have in your computer like Logic or Pro Tools to be able to receive the signals via back and forth from the computer to the mixer. So maybe this machine has some sort of defective chip in it, who knows. But it didn't do what I needed it to do. This is my review on the Presonus 1602. I love the machine. I think it's an awesome product. I think Presonus has continued to evolve. Um, so this is not a, a review of uh, anything necessarily negative. Just be aware that when you do get this, if you run into this problem, these are the same problems I've had. A winner on gear slut, and I've seen other people post some of the similar problems that I've had. So it seems it could be a software issue or something within this, maybe an issue with the, um, the machine not properly reading the software, which could mean possibly a bad chip. Who knows? I do love it. So just beware if you're going to get this machine. It's a great machine, but if you run into those problems, uh, it could be the software. If, if you do have the machine already and you're having that problem, you're not alone because I've gone through it and I'm shipping mine back. Maybe I'll get another one. I'll do another review, but the next one that I get, and I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching my review. I appreciate it. Talk to you again on my next one. Peace and love.